This is the model 281E, the quad function generator, and tonight I'm going to use it to trigger itself in a loop to create a scanner together with the quad dynamics manager model 292E. I'm going to use the quadrature mode of the quad function generator and I'm going to patch the pulse outputs to the trigger inputs so that I make up a chain looking kind of like this, where the a and B are set in quadrature mode so that A triggers B. Then I take the pulse out of A and trigger C so that I get a continuous loop going like this from A through B, C, D and then back to A again. Etc. I've set it up so I have quite slow times for all four and also the same times approximately. Of course I shouldn't run it in loop mode, I should run it in AD mode. I set both function generators into quadrature mode and I take the pulse out of A and patch it to the trigger in of C and I take the pulse out of C and patch it back into A then we just gotta set it off now I should get a continuous step from A through B, C, D so when A decays B rises, when B decays C rises and when D decays A rises. So what to do with these scanning voltages? Well I patch them into the velocity inputs of the 292 because I want to be able to control the mix with the knobs since I use the different oscillators and they have different strengths and as you can see and hear we now scan all the four inputs which are the principal oscillator of the 259E the mod oscillator of the 259E and the two channels of the 258V and of course I can change the speed of the various modulations as well as the timbre so what's this missing link thing? it's so that I can control it everything from my iPad which is kind of dirty, but here's how it works.